Hi, I'm Julie Lefebure, Director of Communication for Salem Church, and I'm here with our mission team leader, Joni Salazar. Joni, would you share our mission focus for this month and why it was chosen and introduce our guest today? Sure. As a congregation, we have supported Matthew 25 with Transformation Week to help neighbors repair and uh, projects around the home. During this time of the COVID and derecho, there has been a lot more need. So we have picked Matthew 25 as our mission focus for February. Our monetary donations assist with educating our youth and the community also. Please welcome Jana Bodensteiner and Christina Roth Klink. Great, welcome Christina and Jana. It's good to have you here. And um, so we want to know a little bit more about Matthew 25. So what does Matthew 25 do in our community and beyond? So we are focused on neighborhood revitalization on the west side of Cedar Rapids. And we do this using the building blocks of food, housing, and education. So just a few examples of some of our programs include our urban farm, which was actually the first urban farm in Iowa. It was built on land in the time check neighborhood where houses had been demolished following the 2008 flood. And so we turned these empty lots into productive farmland where we grow fruits and vegetables using organic And then we distribute this fresh produce in the community through a variety of our programs, including one of those programs is our Groundswell Cafe, which is the only pay it forward cafe. And so at this cafe, we serve soups, salads, and sandwiches to everyone who walks in the doors, regardless of their ability to pay. So the cafe has a unique pay it forward system where people can round up their bill or otherwise choose to give extra in order to feed those who can't afford to pay for the food. Can't afford to pay, can order off the menu and receive their meal at no cost thanks to the pay it forward fund. We also do a variety of educational programs at the farm so that kids can learn about where their food comes from and the importance of healthy eating. One of these programs is a youth development program for high school students. So through this program, students not only learn about growing fruits and vegetables on the farm, but they also participate in workshops that address social justice issues, such as food access and personal identity. Um, one day of each week is spent giving back to the community by participating in a service project related to food systems. And then throughout the program, they learn valuable job skills, teamwork, problem solving, and goal setting. And then, as I mentioned earlier, one of our pillars is focusing on housing. Um, as a means of revitalizing neighborhoods. So one of the main programs we're known for is our block by block program, which helped rebuild 25 blocks of flood impacted homes in the years following the 2008 flood. And then in more recent years, we've been helping with home repairs through our transform program, which you mentioned earlier. Um, in that program, we bring together hundreds of community volunteers to help homeowners with home repair projects that they aren't able to do on their own. And we do a blitz of these projects in one week this could be light construction or roofing, laying floors, repla repairing plumbing, um, painting, cleaning, landscaping, like really anything you could think of. And then we're able to do these repairs at no cost to the homeowners, thanks to the support of donors and sponsors and grants. And then as you mentioned, we've also been stepping up in a major way following the derecho um, through the patch program and, and repairing homes impacted by the derecho. We work throughout the fall with volunteer teams and contractors to help seal up people's homes before winter hit. And then right now we've got a list of projects that we'll start tackling again once the weather allows it. Um, and we'll continue with, to help with these derecho repairs until the work is done. We'll probably be at least through the end of 2021. So as you can see, we do a huge range of work, which is all within the mission of revitalizing neighborhoods. Wow, yes, Mich uh, Matthew 25 is, is uh, has a lot going on and wow, what a difference you're making in this community. Wow, thank you for all of that. Um, a lot of great things going on. So that's, that's very exciting. So um, what do you want us to know about Matthew 25? Besides what you've shared here, what else, what else would you like us to know? So, um, you know, this year has been really difficult in many different ways, right? We've experienced wide pandemic that our country, our state, we just can't seem to get under control. 
So we continue to see the most vulnerable in our communities um, that have had such a difficult year due to this pandemic and the derecho that hit our city, which I guess was six months ago now. So this has been difficult on those stress, um, health stress, not wanting to leave your home due to the pandemic and many other significant things that have really shaken um, our being and our core. So in all of this, right, many have felt an incredible sense of loneliness, loneliness from not being in connection with other people and a feeling like they're doing it by themselves. They're, they're getting through this pandemic, getting through the themselves. Many in the community have lost their job. And here at Matthew 25, we've seen an increase in the pantry at the Hosmer building on Ellis Boulevard. We've seen um, housing stress, you know, after the, the derecho, many houses were hit by the storm. And we have numbers of the homeless community um, as many have, have lost their jobs due to COVID and a lot of places are, are struggling financially to, to hold their employees. So many have also lost um, a place for shelter. And when the derecho first hit back in August, the second week, um, or even a few days later, the staff at Matthew 25 walked the neighborhoods um, for several hours in the afternoon, knocking on doors and finding out what is it that they need, um, well, do they have um, health problems that they need, a generator, food, um, and all of these things. And we were able to um, supply uh, through funding and other organizations in the city, many different generators to help those and, um, that I, I can't remember who talked to her, but she was so disappointed when they came up to her house because she had recently purchased a home and the money from the escrow account was not funneling into her home insurance policy like it should have. So she had no homeowner's insurance to cover the derecho damage to her home. Mm -hmm. Many of our homes and homeowners are like this as well. There, mm -hmm. there are a lot of jobs that insurance won't pay for or they don't have homeowner's insurance. And so part of the work of Matthew 25 has been um, partnering with other organizations to um, kind of rebuild some of these homes and, and, you know, in the language of United Methodism, we talk a lot about um, the channels to experience the grace of God. And in all of this, of this year of the pandemic and the derecho and all of the struggles that we've experienced in the, the, in the deep, dark places, that in all of this, Matthew 25 has been one of those channels um, for God's grace, one of those channels to experience the grace of God. It sure sounds like it. Yeah, that's great. Um, that, and that's that's a, uh, a wonderful, I think I looked at on, maybe on your Facebook page, is that highlighted in there? What all the good work that Matthew 25 did in the weeks following the derecho it was very heartwarming to see that. So thank you for all, all that you've done to help this community and beyond. Um, so how, at, how can we at Salem help? Um, and what ways can we get involved? with Matthew 25. Yeah, so we always love to have people involved with our volunteering programs. Um, you can, if you know home repair skills, you can help with our transform program or our patch program. Uh, we have volunteers on our urban farm. People can come and prep, serve, prep or serve food in our cafe, um, maybe unloading trucks of donated food at our pantry, um, working in our office. Like there's just a a wide range of volunteer opportunities that we have. And so certainly get in touch if you think that any of those things might be appealing and we can give you more information. Um, and if you, you know, volunteering isn't your thing and you don't have time, you know, even just participating in our programs. So, you know, we have a market stand um, on Thursday evenings during a uh, growing season where we, you can buy and which supports us or plot in our community gardens or signing up your kids or your grandkids for our food camps or maybe donate tools to our tool library. So there's just lots of different ways to get involved in our various programs. 
obviously we're a small nonprofit here in Cedar Rapids. So we love to have people contribute financially because we can't do this work without the generous support of people here in Cedar Rapids. Um, you know, you can donate online, you can send us a check. We also have endowed funds through the Community Foundation to ensure our long-term success. And then, you know, the one thing that also is really easy for everybody to do is to just spread the word about what we're doing. You know, we've just told you about some of our programs. So, you know, telling your friends and family, letting them know what we've, what we've got going on, you know, follow our Facebook page or sign up for our email newsletter um, just to learn more and help us get the word out about all the good work that we're doing so we can help more people. That's great. So um, what would be your website that we could just, and your phone number, how would people get a, get a hold of Matthew 25? And then we'll also put this in the in the links in the comments too. Yeah, so our website is www.hub25.org. That's H-U-B-2-5.org. And then our phone number, oh man, off the top of my head, uh, like doesn't occur to you, 319-224. Or wait, oh man. <laughs> That's okay. Why is that suddenly like slipping my brain cells? That's okay. Oh yeah, 362-2214. I knew, I knew 2214 was in there. 362-2214. Okay, great. Wonderful. <laughs> well, thank you. That's good. No, I know how that happens. Um, but thank you both. Is there anything else that you would like to add before we close out today? Or anything you want to add, Joni? Okay. Thank you for this time together. We appreciate you highlighting Matthew 25 for us and giving a glimpse into all that you do. And we just uh, pray God's blessings over you and your, your work that you do. And uh, we look forward to doing what we can to, to help Matthew 25. So thank you so much today. Thank you for having us. Thank you, Julie and Joni. Sure.